In this video, I'm going to show you the best play in Trips Tight End, how to utilize it against any coverage, and why the Trips Tight End, I believe, is the best offense in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to encourage you to click the subscribe button. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. I also want to let you know that if you want to get my full uh, access to every single ebook that I've released, so far we've released 13 uh, offensive and defensive ebooks this year be sure to join my patreon you could join my patreon for just ten dollars a month and you get instant access to all of the ebooks that i've already created and you'll also get instant access to any ebooks that i create in the future so if you want to sign up for that there is a link in the description below and again you can sign up for just 10 bucks a month you can cancel whenever you would like and as soon as you sign up you get access to everything now the play that we're going to talk about in this video and what I believe to be the best play out of the trips tied in formation is actually the play curl flat. And the beauty of this play is you can run this a number of different ways that's going to make it very effective against pretty much any defense that you're going to face. Now why I like this play so much is I can run it on either hash. It really isn't really a hash dependent play. And I'll show you my, my uh, favorite setup for this play. So my favorite setup for this play is to simply take the tight end and put him on a streak and to snap the ball. And the reason why I like this is I could get a double team here on the right side. And what you're going to see is this post is going to get over the top of, of any uh, zone drop. So if they put their zone drops on 30 yard cloud flats, you're going to be able to get this over the top of that very, very easily. The other reason why I like this play so much is it's very, very good against man to man. So if you're facing anyone that likes to run a lot of man to man coverage, this post route in this R1 route, basically wherever the user doesn't go, you're going to get that route open against man to man. As you can see right there, we're able to get the crosser open. We're also able to get this running back route open. I'll show you what that looks like real quick here. You're going to see that against man coverage, this little quick route to the running back is so good at beating man to man. Now, the other reason why I really like this formation and I really like this play is because let's say, for example, that your opponent decides, you know what, we're going to get a little aggressive and they're going to send some pressure at you. Um, this is a great play to beat the blitz. You're going to see here that this little running back route does such a good job at beating most of the meta blitzes because um, it's so hard to be able to use her that route. Now, what your opponent is going to have to do is they are going to have to say and basically commit to using the R1 receiver. Well, the problem is if they use her the running back, then what you're going to see is this little quick post route is almost like a seam streak. You can look to it real quick at the snap of the ball, and if it's open, you can easily throw that for easy, easy yardage. One of my favorite little tricks with this is I'll typically smart route the post, and then I'll streak, and the only reason why I like to do that is because in situations where you're playing zone drops and stuff like that, you're going to be able to fit this in again for about 35 to 40 yards down the field, and most of the zone drops in this game, you're going to have a lot of ease at getting over the top of. Now, the other thing that I like about this play is you have the ultimate check down um, in the fact that you have this route on the left side. So if they do, for whatever reason, stop your over the middle passing, then what you're going to be able to do is work this curl flat concept to the backside. As you can see here, most of the time your curl is going to be open. If your curl is not open, you're going to be able to hit that little quick flat route to Scotty Miller. Now, another way that I like to set this play up is I absolutely love to streak the slot. And when I, when I streak the slot, what I typically like to do with my tight end um, is either put him on a quick out route or put him on a drag. Uh, either one of those are very good. And the reason why, this is a little bit more of a vertically attacking thing, but I love this little quick seam read. The reason I like this quick seam read so much is because pretty much any coverage in the game, you're going to have a quick opportunity, especially out of trips, to hit this little seam streak right up the middle of the field. So what's going to happen is it's going to force their opponent to have to use her on the left side of the screen. The beauty with this is now we can attack the right side of the screen by simply streaking the running back or by putting that tight end on a route. As you can see, that running back is now going to help open up that tight end and you're going to have some easy, simple reads um, that can really work well against zone coverages. Now, if you do have the angle route, the other thing that you're going to notice is let's say, for example, they're using the middle linebacker and they say, you know what, we're done giving up that seam streak. Well, the problem is now you've got this little running back route and there's so much room for the running back route to be able to get separation. So the beauty of the play curl flat is there's really not a great defense um, for this play. You have great routes uh, within this play. It's such a quick little read. And like I said, it's got the ultimate check down and the curl flat combo already created for you to the backside. 
Another way that you can run this play if you want to is you can go ahead and hitch the circle receiver and then you can simply streak the running back. And what you're going to see now is kind of the same thing, but now we've got an extra hitch over there that really, again, is going to hold that user so that we can work this backside. I want to thank you for watching this video. And if you want to learn more about the trips tight end formation, I have a full ebook on that. You can get access to every single ebook that I've released and every single ebook that I'm going to release while your subscription is active by joining my Patreon. You can join my Patreon for just $10 a month. There's going to be a link down in the description below. And like I said, if you click that link and join today, you're going to get instant access to every single one of the 13 ebooks that I have released so far in the Madden 22 season.